Hey, my name is Tamer Zaman. My organization is one of the many organizations that works in monetizing standby letters of credit. And in this video, I want to share with you how to go about thinking about monetizing a standby letter of credit. Uh, for the past few years, my organization has been working with various desks and monetizing uh, SBLC standby letters of credit. And I want to just share a quick case study uh, so it's easy to understand it, uh, understand the SBLC market really well. Uh, 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 one of our attorneys has a very, very, very wealthy client who wanted to get into the oil and gas business for various reasons. And he needed a container that can store millions of gallons of gas or sorry oil and uh, the container maker the manufacturer of the container was, was in South Africa the client was in uh, North America so the guy in South Africa who has the tanker or the storage tanker to sell it would take him a say five months to, um, to build it make it ship it you know, from South Africa and send it to North America and before he can go to work at doing it, he wants to make sure when the container hits North America, he's going to get paid, no questions asked. The person who's buying the container is not, obviously does not want to pay for something that they may not get, specifically if they're doing business with somebody they've never met in South Africa. And a container is not a cheap product for five bucks. You're, you know, you're spending like 200 million bucks sometimes to have that container built and shipped for you. Um, so how do you create a transaction with two parties who've never met and they both need to know they can trust each other and for the money to be exchanged? So in this case, this rich individual would issue a standby letter of credit with their bank for, let's say, 200 million bucks, where the beneficiary of the SBLC would be the manufacturer of the container. This provides as a form of security to the manufacturer of the container that upon delivery, if the client doesn't pay them the 200 million bucks, they just have to take that piece of paper, go to the, go to the bank that issued it, present that piece of paper, and collect the 200 million bucks just as if they're collecting cash. It's that good. Um, so that's when SPLCs are usually issued uh, 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 for for as a vehicle to create trust and making sure that one party pays and making sure, making sure the other party can receive money. Now here's the big question. A lot of companies, a lot of CFOs, directors of finance, CEOs, COOs, people who have received the SBLC, what they don't know or don't know how to is that they can monetize the standby letter of credit. And that's something a lot of people for whatever reason don't know much about it. So if your organization has a standby letter of credit, what you want to know is that there are trade desks that will give you money to monetize it, to be able to leverage it as part of their trade within the organization. And when I say um, they monetize it, I don't mean some broker in um, you know, third, in a third world country who you've never met that you need to go give them two hundred million dollars, you know, piece of paper. I would never, ever, ever even recommend or think about doing that. Uh, it's usually the top 40 banks in the world have a vehicle to monetize it. We certainly do it with our clients. Uh, we monetize standby letters of credit all day long. Uh, but it's basically, if you have a standby letter of credit, and let's say you're the manufacturer of the oil tanker, as an example, you have a standby letter of credit for five months. And so, uh, although you will get paid end of the five months for that 200 million bucks, you may want to monetize that standby matter of credit for the time that you have it, or five months. So if you were going to give it to our organization, maybe we pay you one and a half to 2% of the value of the SPLC. It all varies from um, which bank you have the SPLC with, how reputable is the bank, and then the, obviously the dollar amount for that SPLC. So that's really important to know. And depending on the value of that, you can either work with a financial institution or, or a shop, a trusted company like ours uh, to help leverage a standby letter of credit with you. Uh, basically what we do is we will have attorneys, uh, attorney to attorney phone calls uh, to verify and make sure the SPLC is real. Upon the SPLC being real, a trade desk will provide all the legal paperwork 
that says we're going to secure the SPLC. It's not going to be called on. We're going to buy insurance on the SPLC, all that stuff around it. And then upon us um, monetizing it on a monthly basis, we will write you a check for a percentage of the face value of the SPLC. And the attorneys on file, uh, the trade desk will send the money to, let's say, your attorney, and your attorney will make sure that your 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 funds or your portion of the funds or whatever gets distributed to you right away. My name is Tamar Salmon. If uh, this uh, video of uh, value to you, please like it, please share it, please subscribe to our channel, and I look forward to the option working with you.